So one of the top 10 lists, but this time top 10 Beetle accessories. Guys, this is a list that I put together, accessories that I put on my Beetles in the past, and uh, you may agree with them, you may not agree with them. If there's anything that I did leave out, please leave it in the comment section below. But these are very common accessories. Some of them are rare, uh, but these are accessories that we put on our Beetles in the past and seem to work really well and appeal to many people. I'm more of a mass audience. So whenever it came time for me to turn around and sell a bug, these were some of the accessories that people really enjoyed. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to the list. Number one, the beauty trim ring. I definitely like the beauty trim ring, the type that's, that's on the outer part of the rim, um, past the hubcap, not the ones that have the slots on them that are held on by the hubcap. This is a beauty trim ring that goes in the outer part of the rim and it, it's up against the white wall tire which is our other accessory that we definitely like to put on, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Uh, but the Beauty Trim Ring, you can get those on eBay, and they work with uh, you know a lot of different classic cars, and you can get stainless steel, or you can get the ABS plastic. Now, the stainless steel, of course, are stronger, uh, but I've had more, difficult, uh, more of a difficult time uh, installing those, because they do have teeth in the back, so they don't fit the greatest, and then they're even more difficult to take off if you did want to take off the beauty trim ring. So uh, keep that in mind. They have more of a polished look, of a polished stainless steel look. They're not so as glossy. I hate to say it, but the ABS plastic 15-inch beauty trim ring that I get on eBay, uh, and, the and the brand is uh, CCI. So do a search on eBay for, for beauty trim ring 15-inch CCI. They have the teeth in the back. It doesn't take much effort like the stainless steel, and they do stay on. They don't fly off when you're, on, when you're going down the street. Uh, keep in mind they have teeth on them, so they're, they're gonna they're gonna dig into the rim. So th you're gonna ruin the paint, most likely on that section. Uh, but uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, I always like it. It's, a, it's an alternative to going two tone on the rim. You know, if you don't want to paint two tone on your rim, you could put the beauty trim ring on, and that kind of gives you a two tone look. Definitely jazzes up the car. People seem to love it. It's part of our signature look that we have here at Classic VW Bugs. And then the next on the list, of course, is the white wall. Uh, I always love white walls on my cars. People know this from me back in the day. If you ever look at my past list of cars that we've restored, there's only a couple times we did cars without white walls. Uh, it just, when it comes to resale value, it always seems to bring in more dollar when you have white walls on. You might not like white walls, but it comes time to sell your car, consider putting them on because people like that bubblegum look and they definitely like the vintage look of that. So. And I know it wasn't a common thing that was on Beatles maybe back in the day, because again, Beatles were not accessorized that much. You know, this was a utilitarian vehicle for, to get me from point A to point B. So people didn't put many accessories on a Beetle. Today, you see a lot of accessories, because again, we're making art on wheels. We want these cars to look beautiful. And so that's what we do here at Classic VW Bugs, and it jazzes them up, but we try not to overdo it. So if there's anything I put on my Beatles in, from the get-go, it's a beauty trim ring and it is a white wall. Even if, it, even if it's a 70s model Beetle, depending on the color combination, I'll put a wide white wall on it. And I know it wasn't original for that period, but I'd like to bring the look earlier, to make it look earlier, and that seems to be a good selling feature. So uh, I definitely like those. Beauty trim ring, wide white walls. Next on the list, we're going on the inside, and it's the parcel shelf. And I actually like just the wicker bamboo looking parcel shelf. I go to car shows all the time, guys, and people love the parcel shelf. They think it's the cutest thing in the world. And so the bamboo parcel shelf is killer to put into your beetle. You might have to fasten it in, up along your firewalls there and use a set of screws to hold it in place. But it's a great little addition to your beetle and uh, people seem to love it. I, I don't even have to go with the expensive bamboo shelf. That's the vinyl wrapped shelf and it has the badge on it. I don't even need that. I like the wicker uh, earth, earth tone looking you know, bamboo shelf. So very, very cool. Uh, next on the list would be mud flaps. I love, the, uh, I love the mud flaps on the back. Getting a good quality set of mud flaps these days is getting more and more difficult. I used to get a great set from a guy on eBay, but I think he, soon, he just passed away maybe a few years ago. So uh, he had great brackets that came with, uh, with, with the kit and the mud flaps themselves felt like rubber, not plastic. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's very tough to find a good set of mud flaps these days. Um, they either have really cheap brackets that can bend like nothing, or the, the mud flaps themselves feel like plastic. So the headliner storage net, I've done those before in the past, is primarily for uh, headliner 63 and earlier that had the multi-piece headliner, the center square section of your headliner. Uh, you can put this uh, storage net right above uh, your sun visors and you can put stuff and papers in there or any sort of documents, whatever you want, sunglasses, that kind of thing. 
Very cute accessory. People love to see that when they're looking, uh, sticking their head in the window at a, at a car show, and they um, they didn't think it was an original piece, and it actually was. So I actually had a catalog, you know, a catalog of a book of, uh, of uh, accessories that the Beatles had. It's just truly remarkable how many accessories the bug actually had. Did you know you could actually turn your front seats into a bed? They, they had an option for that where the seats would actually totally lay out this way, and you can lie in it as, you know, to go to sleep. <laughs> so pretty, pretty cool. So clocks i love the clock even that goes just in the steering wheel from say 1960 uh, up until say 71 where you had the d-ring and you had the center horn uh button that can pop out the wolfsburg horn button you can pop that out and they sell a clock uh you can probably still get it at cip1.com very cool little addition people seem to love that but i even love the clocks that were in the oval window dashes that uh in the speaker grill area the pahoras clock or the video clocks um they're not cheap they're they're pricey uh, to get yourself a good one, you, you're probably looking at, I don't know, a couple grand maybe. Um, if you can get them cheaper than that, that's that's great. Uh, but hopefully it's it's working and it's got a nice chrome finish and, you know, show finish to it. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit of money for that. But uh, I love the clocks in, in a Beetle. It always jazzes up the interior. Uh, next is a chrome basket, which is like right by the parcel shelf. So you can stick that like right on the hump by your shifter or by uh, your e-brake, behind the e-brake. Got two little cup holders in there. I don't know if it was really an original accessory, but you see it, you know, uh, for sale often on uh, Wolfsburg West website or CIP1. You can get the chrome basket. They're white. They're black. Uh, the, just keep in mind, it, it only really works well if you have carpet on the hump, not not the rubber mat. The rubber mat just it just wants to pop right off. It doesn't want to stay on. Um, and then sometimes it can get in the way of your shifting. And if you have the parcel shelf there as well, the wicker shelf, it kind of can interfere with that. So just keep all that stuff in mind. I know it all looks great, uh, but sometimes too much uh, could be problematic. And then, you know, safety is really the key here. I mean, I, I once had a drink in, in the cup holder and sure enough, I shifted, I knocked that basket and the hot tea uh, spilt on, on the carpet and such. So uh, something to, to keep in mind with that. Uh, I definitely like the Petri uh, or the Banjo uh, Porsche steering wheels that you can get uh, as an accessory. You can get some repops today. I, I know Flat 4 still makes the Banjo wheel and you get, they have different horn buttons and, and such uh, to go into that, which is really nice. Uh, you do have to get an adapter to work on your steering column. I think the Banjo works well with the 50s Beetles and fits that period correctly. But if you wanna put them into a 60s model bug, the, the, the adapter is much bigger and you got to keep in mind that adapter pushes the steering wheel closer to you. So now you're, it's, it's a little closer to your body while you're driving down the road. Sometimes it can get a little uncomfortable. The 50s models, it, it bumps it up a little bit on that steering column, but not too bad. Uh, but if you get a real one, a real one's going to cost you, you know, a few grand maybe. Uh, even the, the ones with the, the circular ring on it, uh, the Petri, uh, just, um, you know, an, an amazing accessory. Uh, they look awesome. Uh, I know a friend of mine who's got a 54 Beetle. There's somebody in Thailand that I believe is reproducing um, the old school wheels that, you know, that look awesome. They're reproductions, but you're still paying probably 1500 bucks or 2000 bucks for uh, the whole setup. So keep that in mind. Um, and he, he even makes it without the adapters too. So next on the list, and I got a love hate with these, it's the gravel guards. I used to put these on a lot in my Beetles in the, in the past. Gravel guards, they, you know, I like the stainless steel model. It's a, it's a heavier duty or, um, uh, piece. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's out there today just kind of feels like aluminum and you can bend it literally in your hand uh, like a, you know, like tin foil. Um, and it's just not, it's not the greatest, you know, so keep that in mind. Um, but they're great to protect your, they protect your fenders. If you already have scuffs on your fenders, they're great to put on. Uh, so that, that's a great little addition you can put. Again, depending on your color combination and depending on what your, the look and feel you want on your beetle, it does jazz it up. It does make it a nice, uh, accessory. There are other accessories for the rear uh, uh, fenders. They have the tall gravel guards either by MP or robbery. If you get the real robberies, they're expensive, but you have to drill holes into your fenders to mount those tall gravel guards. Um, lately, I have been I have not been putting them on. So uh, something to keep in mind. Again, if it's if you have a dent or a scratch or a chip paint in that area, you can get the gravel guard to kind of hide that. So next on the list would be, I think, a necessity, and that is the rear pop-out windows. Pop-out windows are just awesome uh, to have on your Beetle. It definitely improves the airflow within the cabin of the Beetle, because uh, if you have no pop-out windows and you have your windows down in the summertime or something, you're cruising down the road, there's tends to get a thwarting uh, or a helicopter effect like on your ears, and it just could be irritating. You can crack the front vent windows to get rid of that effect, but 
Pop-out windows are just so cool. I mean, it's, it's a great little accessory. People love the look of them. Um, they are valuable now. I mean, to get the real ones these days, if you get them in really good shape, you're going to pay a, a, a good penny for them, probably like close to $1,000, maybe more. Repops today are already like over $700 uh, to get the repops. And they're not that great. They don't even fit great up against the body once they're closed. So something to think about. And I know there are cheaper versions on the market. I've, I've seen on eBay, there's a fellow in, in Australia that's drop shipping from China. And, you know, they're okay. Um, they, they sit pretty well. I mean, uh, you know, even the more expensive ones, they sit just as bad. There's always a gap. Uh, the only difference with his is that the, um, or the cheaper model, is that where the chrome meets by the door post and you got the ribbed chrome that's meeting, it's slightly off. It's not, it's not flush. So that's what kind of makes it a little bit cheaper. The seal is also not the greatest that goes around the cheaper model, but if you're on a budget, uh, they will suffice uh, and they will play the part. You have to really look close to see the imperfection. Uh, and a bonus here, uh, and it's, it's super rare and a lot of people don't even realize that Volkswagen had this as an option for an accessory and that is a coffee maker. To actually mount a coffee maker on your dash and plug it into a cigarette lighter and have this thing run. I saw this firsthand for the first time when I went out to California with my good friend Lucky Larry and we went to the Treffen, uh, the vintage VW Treffen, which is cream of the crop cars, guys, the best of the best. And uh, man, we saw this coffee maker inside this fully restored Beetle and my friend Larry looked at me, he's like, what is that? And I'm like, yeah. That is a coffee maker, holy shit. <laughs> so um, you can get these. I've seen I, every now and then they might pop up on the Samba, but they're not cheap. You know, I think you're paying at least 600 bucks, $700, maybe $1,000 for this coffee maker, but cool little accessory that you could put in your car. So these are some of my favorites. And again, I, I know I missed a bunch. I mean, of course the roof racks are, are very popular. I mean, there's a roof rack beetle back here now, a 63 bug, and he's even got the rack on the back of the deck lid. Um, I, you know, I, I, I love, I got like a love hate with those. So, so that's why I didn't add them into my list, but those are super common as well. Uh, the eyelids on the front headlights as well. Those are also great, uh, accessories, the vase on the dash, the hippie flower, you know, flower power. You want that, uh, crosshatch beauty trim rings as well. Those ones that have an X on them and they, that's a trim ring. That was also an accessory. So if you like this content, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Guys, got to hit the bell because the Skynet big machine algorithm, the Terminator out there, unless you hit that bell and get notified of my videos when they go up, the algorithm just really doesn't work in my favor. So hit that bell, get notified. So every time I, I upload a video, you get a notification that I uh, just put out a new video. So um, love to hear your thoughts, guys. Leave it in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.